Well, welcome back. Dean Manzo, former castmate of The Real Housewives and the founder of Project Ladybug. Dina, welcome to you. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Hey, now I want to talk about former first. Why is it that you decided to uh, to get off of that uh, the reality show? Um, well, I don't know if you watch, but it it, sure. it was a little bit of a toxic environment for me. I, I like positive things. I like to you know I don't like to argue, and there was a lot of that going on, so it wasn't for me. Well, I couldn't think of anything more positive to be involved with than a, than a project like Ladybug, which uh, looks out for uh, for children that uh, sadly have been diagnosed with. Uh, you know, a very serious disease. Mm -hmm. Where did you get the impetus to do that? Um, you know, my dad has always been a huge supporter of St. Jude. Uh, my middle name is after St. Jude. Well, so we just go. grow up, you know, learning to give back. And children with cancer always tug at my heartstrings. So I, I'm an event planner. I know I throw a great party. So that's really how it started. I knew I can do a great event for a great cause. My daughter was born at St. Joe's in Patterson. My husband was born there. It's my dad's namesake. So that's where we started our fund. And it started off as this huge annual event, and you know, obviously, once I was on the Housewives, and it was a big reason why I did the Housewives, to give the foundation exposure. Um, it kind of blew up, and now we're opening funds all over the country, and it's really my life's passion. I know you've got a big event coming up in Chicago, but to mm -hmm. go back to St. Jude, or harken back, for those who don't know, that's the patron saint of very difficult causes, I guess. I won't mm -hmm. want to say lost causes. And, mm -hmm. and why is it that your dad was drawn to them? Was there a personal connection? No, there's not. I guess same with myself. We're just feel he's got 11 children, and we're all healthy. And I guess he was so grateful that, you know, out of 11 children, none of them was struck with cancer. And I feel the same way about my daughter. I'm just so grateful that she's healthy, and I feel like it's my obligation to give back to those who aren't. You know, and St. Joe's is such a great hospital in Passaic County and mm -hmm. been there for many, many years. And, and like a lot of hospitals, does need you know the support to supplement sure. the great work they do. But but uh, how did it uh, grow to the point of, I guess the show gives a lot of exposure, but, but for example, the event coming up in Chicago, how, how is that put together? Um, well, I do a lot of charity work outside of Ladybug. I was invited to do a rally for children with cancer in Chicago. And there I met a wonderful woman who was a cancer survivor herself and her daughter, Atia, who's at the time was two has leukemia, and I just fell in love with them both and um, became friendly with them and decided, you know, I needed to do more there and for them and, and the hospital at Comers. And we talked, and I went to the hospital and discussed how we can have Ladybug there, and it really happened so quickly. And our first event is April 7th. It's a huge event, and that's how we started here in Jersey with that one kind sure. of big event everybody looks forward to all year long. So that's coming up on April 7th. Well, I know you have a 15-year-old daughter mm -hmm. yourself, which, knock on wood, incredibly healthy and yes. beautiful like mom. And, <laughs> She's uh, gorgeous. And, and again, do you, you, how do you feel? You know, you mentioned someone else from Chicago when I was asking about that. I, I can't imagine uh, folks that are visited with having that kind of a, a burden. When I say burden. Yeah, I know. It's that, a difficult burden. Yeah, word like even that in. kind of mm -hmm. difficulty in the light of their life, their child uh, going through something like that. Doesn't it take a lot out of you, Dina? Um, you know what? It, it's both. I mean, I, I, I go there feeling like I'm going to leave sad, but I'm actually very inspired when I leave by these children and their strength and their moms, how they have these smiles on their faces and what their kids are going through. And it really, you know, puts things in perspective. A, it has made me, you know, a much happier person and really not ever sweat the small stuff ever. So as sad as it is sometimes to get to know these children and sometimes lose them, they really, you know, inspire me to be a better person, to do more and help more, and it kind of a snowball effect. Everybody around me wants to help, and you meet the most wonderful people doing something like this. So I encourage people to just get involved in something and do good because it really, you know, comes back to you in so many ways. Well, I mean, the, you know, the events are fun on top of it. Talk mm -hmm. about the, what might next be planned for New Jersey local if people at home want to participate. Oh, well, our big event is coming. We have about two events a month here at Ladybug, 30 oh, wow. party events, but our big one is coming up on May 23rd, our girls' night out. It's our fifth Girls' Night Out. Uh, girls' Night Out. Yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Last year we had about 1,400 women gather at the Brownstone, my husband's restaurant. Sure. And um, this year, you know, we're hoping for squeeze them in even, you know, wherever we can get them in at the Brownstone. But it's a great event. Everybody really looks forward to it. It's so much fun. You kind of forget you're there for, you know, fundraising because it's like a party and everybody's having a great time. But at the same time, we're raising money for such an important cause. And, and what kind of things happen at this girls' night out? Just <laughs> want to know. This is the father of three daughters and a you wife. Can keep them, should I keep you're them away than or welcome. what? No, 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 no. They can come. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of, you know, and men are actually this year, we're kind of gearing it towards it's wine, women, shoes. So the men, the vintners from 
wine country are coming and discussing wine and oh, pouring. Wine and so. shoes. I think I stay home and watch the Ranger game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might, it might be dangerous to let your wife go there. Yeah, without yeah, you I was going to say, maybe I'll go just to watch her. <laughs> we have great raffles. I mean, the best, everyone knows we're known for the best raffles ever. And Christian Louboutins and Manolo Blahniks, you probably don't know what that is, but women get very huh? excited over those names. <laughs> And we raffle off some great prizes and raise lots of money, and all the money goes to the kids. And, and talk to me about the money now, uh, relative mm -hmm. to understanding that uh, there's always needs that can be filled. What kinds of things do the funds go for? Is it direct medical care? Is it to support families? Um, at each hospital, it's different. Um, we just launched a fund at Sloan Kettering also, so we're structuring things a little bit there. That some of our money does go to research, which I'm thrilled to be able to do. St. Joe's, um, at their facility, they don't do the research there. So we're redoing the whole entire oncology floor right now. Um, we throw the kids birthday parties, we give them incentive gifts, which is one of my favorite things to do. Would some, talk about that a little bit. Um, you know, we try to, our whole mindset is to make their treatment positive instead of negative. Obviously, these children are scared that they're walking into this, they don't know what they're walking into. So we say, what, is, what would you want if you get to pick any gift? And these children, obviously a lot of them are in the city, so to give them an iPad or an iPod or a bike is tremendous for them. So they say, you know, I would love an iPad. So we tell them, well, you'll get so many points for your chemo treatments or your wow. radiation. So and, and that's the incentive. So it's not. You yeah, know, actually, they almost look to forward to like they're going to get chemo. They get five more points, and it turns a negative into a positive. And we're hoping that the treatment will be a positive outcome because of that. And it really is working. Do you have professionals that, that tell you like this is a good thing psychologically for the children to move in that direction or was this just your instinct as a kind person? Um, well I saw there was a need for it and the social workers at the hospital definitely let us know some of these kids were coming to chemo with no winter coats on and no shoes. I mean mm. bad enough I mean they're dealing with this and to have that on top of it so I saw there was a definite need for a fund like ours which doesn't exist a lot that's why these hospitals all over the country are really clamoring to get us there. And as we grow, I mean, I want to be everywhere. It just takes money and funds, and we are all volunteers. None of us take a salary. We all do wow. it from our hearts, so all the help we can get. Now, you know, Dina, you mentioned that, you know, that children are, are, are scared, and I guess maybe inside they are, but uh, it seems to me often when you see children in those very, you know, difficult positions that they show bravery beyond the adults around you them. wouldn't even, I mean, I'm in awe, in awe of these kids and their bravery and their strength and their insight, I mean, God gives them a special gift of strength and wisdom to, to deal with any of this because, I mean, they've taught me, little five-year-old, three-year-old children have taught me more about life <laughs> than many adults in my, you know. That now, now beside being a mom about. to your 15-year-old mm. and, and a wonderful spouse, uh, this is 100% of what you focus on now. It's really my life's passion. I feel like, you know, we're all put here for a reason, and I've learned that this is why I'm here. So I, I really, you know, give it, hundred percent more you know I, I don't sleep much I'm answering emails all night long but I really feel like this is why I'm put here and I'm I'm here to make a change and a difference and I'm determined to do that well so now let me let me slip into from something important to something just frivolous and entertaining okay. so now with you out of the cast what uh, do we have to look for in the uh, upcoming season for those mm -hmm. fans at home because I know there's a lot of them, <laughs> including everybody in the studio clamoring around to take pictures well obviously my family's still involved so um, there's a different dynamic this year I, it's not as dark there's a lot more family relatable drama um, it, it doesn't go where it has in the past, thank God. But um, Is it a pain in the neck beyond the, as you said, negative stuff, which you're not really all about, obviously so. Uh, is it a pain to have people around all the time with cameras? I can't imagine. Um, I don't enjoy that part. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm actually filming another show now for, uh, based on my event planning and stuff like that. Wow. So as much as I love throwing a party and I love design, the camera part is just like, you know, even these lights and everything is not for me, but um, it's all part of the job. So kind of, after a while, you forget they're there. Well, you know, mm -hmm. just getting a chance to meet you in person and to uh, talk about what you're involved with, you're really a credit to uh, humanity. You're Aww, a wonderful person. Thank you so much. And please keep it up because there's children and their families that need you. Thank you. And, and hopefully you can help at home. Uh, please get in touch with the Ladybug Project and uh, be a part of it. It's a great thing.